Alice. How did you get in here? I'm meeting the press. What? That's a pretty color on you. You heard about my interview. I wrote it all down for you, word for word, Alice. You rejected my words, didn't you? You rejected them. You should fix your face. You're a reject. You're a reject. You're a reject. A reject. You're a reject. Rejected CERA in 1972 and rejected it again in 1973 and 1974 and every year since. There was a robocall that was released this week. <laughs> oh, how'd it go? I like to think we changed a few hearts and minds. We filled it. 20,000 people. You did it. Was it awful? It was, um, it was something. Did you run into Gloria Steinem? No. You should fix your face. Sometimes I forget how to smoke sharply. <laughs> <laughs> There's our Joan of Arc. Oh. Doesn't she work miracles? Now, this is my dear friend Alice. Unless your husband's a me. jerk, and then you're on your own. Oh, I think someone's had a bit too much celebration. Pamela needed your support. Alice. And the best really you could do was tell time. her to manage it better. But why don't you come with me to the ladies' room? I don't want to go with you to the ladies' room. I want to know why you said that to her. Well, uh, Kevin may not be perfect, but he provides, and she's never had to work a day in her life. Oh, lucky her. All right, I think people have heard enough. When did you get so mean? No, I thought of all people you would be enjoying tonight. After all of our hard oh, work. Don't. This what? is what you do. Alice. You change the subject and you twist you. things up. Do you even care about me at all? Now, I did all of this for you. You did all of this for and me? You would not feel invisible. I have never felt more invisible than Ms. when Shockley. I'm around you. Ms. Shockley, we need to get you out of here. What? What's going on? I'm so busy. I'd call Mrs. McCray. She's here. Yeah, she just dropped me off. Oh, uh, uh, Fred, I'll meet you in the car. Oh, thank you so much. No, it really was no problem. Yes. Well, thank you. You wearing a suit? Yes, I just gotten home from the office when Anne oh. called. What office? I got a job. A job? As a 411 operator. Oh, did, did Buck? Oh, no. Buck just laughs. I'm averaging 500 calls a day, and he doesn't have to pay for any of them. Oh. And now that the kids are mostly grown, I just. And I like not having to ask him for pin money. It's empowering. You used to feel empowered by me. I used to feel scared. 